Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to this playlist about JavaScript and here I'm covering some miscellaneous and important aspects. Today we are going to talk about JavaScript classes. So like with the introduction of ES6 now we are able to write classes in JavaScript. Right? So with the introduction of ES6 now you can create a classes same as any other programming language like Java, .NET or PHP right you can create a class same as the class hello and you can actually define the constructor all the other properties you can add inside this okay inside constructor you can just define x and y like these are the two variables I have in the class and you can you can just say this dot x equal to x this dot y equal to y right so you can do a lot of things inside the classes. You can create an instance method, static method. You can create a class. You can create a class as an expression also. Like simply how we create a function. Function hello, right? This is the one way of creating function. Otherwise, you can also do const x equal to function as an expression, right? So these are anonymous function is also there where you are actually not calling a function. Function is invoking itself. And this is a if you block where function is calling itself, right? So these are the different variants of a function. Similarly, class can also be assigned as an expression. Like uh, here, you can say my class, and here you can assign class hello, and this class can have other things like constructor and all. Like I, I can put the same constructor. Right, so what are the basic difference? I mean, classes are not something new. That is nothing but a simple function. If you do simple type of my class or type of hello, this is nothing but a function only. Okay, these are functions. It's just a syntactic sugar on top of functions. Okay. Now, what is the basic difference? Earlier, we have seen that a function, if we talk in terms of function, you can call a function before even declaring that, right? So here you are doing a hello function. This was fine and it was working. And because the functions are getting hoisted. But in this particular situation, if you defining the class here, and you are trying to create an object of a class here, then classes are not hoisted so you will get a reference error here the class is not declared so this is the basic difference between class and functions there are many others classes are providing more way of creating object oriented style of coding because in that way you can actually create an object of a class then you can define instance method static method you can have a constructor to initialize the object of a class right now if you see the class body, what does it contain? It can contain static method. It can contain constructor, which we already have. This is the class body. Or it can have prototype methods. Simply like you can create a getters and setters inside a class. So these all properties a class can have, right? Now if I just try to uh, talk about this simple class here constructor has x and y if I have a get area All right what I wanted to return is return this dot uh, calculate area another method we have and calculate area I have defined here what it is doing is it is just multiplying the values so it is returning uh, this dot x multiplied by this dot y right so these are like uh, prototype methods we have added now you can actually create the instance of the class how we do it we just create a const p equal to new hello and now you can just do p dot area right it's a getter you don't need to call this method it's a kind of a prototype method which you have added right if you are adding a simple method you can also call calculate area in that case you have to call it 
okay in the constructor you have to initialize the x and y which is 6 and 7 right static methods now there are a lot of things inside a class this is nothing but a constructor now constructor instance method uh, static methods or prototype methods you can also create a getters and setters now what we are doing is we have a constructor that is fine okay now we can also create a static methods static methods are those methods for which you don't need an instance to call so like in uh, distance I created this method and what this method is doing it is taking two arguments a comma b okay I mean we are just trying to calculate the st static sorry static distance and here what we are doing is const distance in the x coordinate equal to this dot x minus a something like this const dist y equal to this dot y minus p so what is significance of static method is they can be called directly from the class name like if you have a hello you can directly call them hello dot distance right in that case you have the values of a and b but you don't have the value of x and y right so that that will be the difference here like uh, you created two different objects uh, if i just try to see this i can create a two different objects const p1 equal to new hello host and i can just pass 5 comma 5 okay hello dot distance right it is taking two argument you can say these are the nothing but two objects p1 and p2 okay what we will say p1 dot x and p2 dot x let's make it more clear p2 dot x similarly this is p2 p1 dot x and p2 dot y sorry and we are creating two different objects p1 and p2 and it is let's say okay 6 and 6 and here hello dot distance you can actually call you can actually pass these two objects which we have created you can see now this distance method i'm directly able to call on the class name that's what i wanted to tell the rest these things i okay you created two different objects of this class and then you are passing it and calculating the distance between p1 dot x p1 dot y variable that is a different aspect that's a simple one right but the static methods you can call directly from the class name okay now if you try to see this what actually we are doing i will also show you by inspecting few things like what is the class how it is how it is not different than functions just go to the top zoom it a little bit okay so this is the class we have right now if you see hello what it is it is nothing but a function right if you just say type of it is a function right if you just try to see hello dot prototype it is pointing to the constructor of the function not this class constructor okay now if you just try to see this you can see here the constructor is pointing to the class hello earlier it was pointing to the functions right here it is a class and you can see the proto proto is pointing to the capital o object right so what i am trying to say is when you are creating the object of this class how we do it using new hello this is same way we create a object through the function right now if you just do this object you can see x and y are undefined let's initialize it with some value object is already declared so let's put it as object 1 right x and y both are initialized now if you see the proto proto is pointing to the constructor function of class hello right and the further proto is pointing to the capital O object now so this is how we actually deal with the functions class dot if you see underscore underscore proto is pointing to the constructor function of class and if you go further dot if you do one more then it is pointing to the capital O object proto capital O object uh, prototype 
right? Even you can, can compare and both will comes out as a equal, right? So classes are nothing but simple functions. The type of is able to explain you and when you whenever you are adding something on the prototype. So you can consider class is nothing but a function having some prototype methods. This is hello. Now you can what you can do is you can add some prototype properties. Okay, say hi. This is the function I have. Say greetings. These are the methods. Now if you just try to see hello, hello function dot prototype. You can see it has the say hi, say greetings and constructor. Similarly, if I just talk about simple class, I will not uh, delete this class hello. And here I have defined some methods. These methods you can simply create. Uh, say hi. Say greetings. Okay. These are two methods in the class. Now if you just try to see what hello contains. Hello dot prototype. You can see the same things are coming. Say hi, say greetings. Here also you can see say hi, say greetings and constructor. So it's nothing, it's same, right? So if you just try to create an object of uh, either a class, x1, I'm creating an object of this class. And if I just take a look on to this is hello one. And I had one class also, one function also, which is hello. So I will create an object x2 for that. New hello. And if you just to try to see x2, so that is also here the difference is here it is pointing to so this is an object right that object we are creating from class this object we are creating from constructor function of a function right so here you can see in the proto we can have a say hi say greetings here in the proto also we can see say hi and say greetings and constructor further if you just talk about the proto of this you keep uh, going down proto it will point to the prototype of the capital O object. Same thing if you just do with x1. Proto is pointing to the constructor function and if you just go one more proto, it is pointing to the capital O object prototype, right? So this is how your classes are working. Now what else we have? We can actually create a static methods. We can create a getter setters. We can create a instance methods. So whatever we are creating using functions like simple function animal. Okay. Inside this function, now you are creating the prototype of it. <coughs> animal dot prototype. Prototype uh, simply speak. They can't speak. So we will just say nothing. Okay. Other properties also you can add. These are the instance property you are adding animal dot eat so what is the difference between this property and this property this you are adding as a in the prototype so all the objects all the objects will have this speak methods whenever you are creating the object of this animal function and this is the native property you are adding to the animal now what we can do is we can create an object const object equal to new animal this is how we can create a object okay so let's speak equal to what we can do is object dot speak right so what it is you can actually directly call this and you will get the value and let eat equal to animal dot eat I mean you can directly call it so we are we got the animal dot eat property and then you can call it right so this is a global object so what we are doing here in this uh, we are actually calling animal dot eat so this is already a function and this is a prototype so you can actually call this by getting the objects and this you can directly call from the animal here speak we are able to call after creating the object so we are creating new animal and then 
from the object object dot speak right here we are able to call directly right so this is how this is the base difference between how we do it now if you just try to do the same thing with the classes class animal here we will have some instance property so for the functions this is same as the instance property right and this is something which you are accessing from the object the same thing is there in the classes also this is animal right and there is a static eat so now this eat function you can directly call from the animal right dot eat because this is static otherwise the other one is called other one you have to create an object new animal and then animal dot speak object one dot speak this is how it is happening so this is the difference between these functions this is a kind of static property you have added on to animal function and these are the prototypes so and these are called as instance properties so you have to create an object to access it you can access it directly right so this is the difference instance properties like uh, whenever you are creating the class and all these are all instance properties now static properties also we talked about let's take a few more examples so consider that i'm creating class rectangle here i have constructor inside the constructor i'm initializing some properties height and width okay this i have initialized this h equal to h this dot W equal to W. Height and width property I have initialized, right? So if you are just talking about the instance property, or is it's a rectangle? So rectangle dot. If you are trying to access some property, static width, you initialize it with a twenty. Okay, and other other. Uh, prototype properties you are accessing is rect dot prototype dot pro pro uh, prototype width so this is also difference this is a static property you have added on this rect or this is the prototype property you have added on to this rect so if you are going to you, the, all the objects of this class can access this property after creating the object and this is a static property you have added okay so we have created this simple animal class right now what we can do is this is the scenario where i'm talking about parent class and child class right you can create a child class like here can be a class dog class dog extends animal and uh, this is a child class so if you wanted to if you have a constructor in the child class then you have to use a super keyword to call the parent class constructor how it works is you just put a constructor there first of all you have to call super class constructor so super name here i'm passing name and then you can have a speak method if you want to to have it otherwise you can also call the parent class method because this dog class is extending the animal so dog class will also have the speak method when you are extending it so now if i if i create an object simple dog and you just put a name right now i can just call x dot speak right similarly you can also create a cat class right that is also extending animal and, and it has a constructor so using super keyword the child class constructor need to call the parent class constructor so that you will have this name available in the parent class and when you are calling this uh, speak method the data is available in the parent class because the method is defined in the parent class right so x1 dot speak so this is how the inheritance works in javascript with simple classes this is already there in the functions here we are writing classes so we are just looking at it otherwise and you can also override these methods i mean if you want to have your own speak method 
what you can do is you have you override this method okay my on method for dog here you can say my own method for cat that means if you wanted to use the pairing class method that is fine otherwise you can override it and then this is how it will work right so this is how the inheritance works whenever you are extending it pairing class then you have to use extend keyword extend animal and then you can define if you are also having the constructor in the child class then all also you have to call the pairing class constructor using super keyword like if you have some multiple argument name one you might be having some other properties for this particular class itself but if you are if you wanted to initialize the pairing class constructor also then you just pass that value to the pairing class because there are some common properties which you are extending from animal so like here is the name and breed let's say and now while calling this constructor you can actually pass the breed name whatever okay <clears throat> so the name will be passed to the parent class constructor it will be initialized with the name now if you are calling a speak method and speak method is not defined in the child class then it will call the parent class method okay so this is all about inheritance in the classes if you use the typescript then it is uh, wide there is a wide area you can also use interface interface can implement interface can extend one another your class can implement interface right so all these things came into the picture you can also create abstract class abstract methods your class can extend the abstract class all those object oriented concepts came into the picture and that will be more useful when you are looking for object oriented styling style of coding in javascript